oh hey what's going on everybody didn't see you there um looking back over the stack of movies that i bought you know over the last couple months i couldn't believe how many damn steel books i bought it's so many of them we should do a top 10 list i got a couple categories coming up in the jeffy awards i'll update you on that as well but let's get in this video i'm gonna pick let's do 10 of my favorite steel books of 2023 what do you think yeah let's do it what are we waiting for let's go So what's going on everybody welcome back to the jeff man 316 pop culture reporter channel i'm your host as always jeff man 316 yeah that's me jeff man 316 live on the weekends we watch movies and bullshit and pop culture and everything during live streams usually on sunday night come over also follow me on social media jeff man 316 i'm going to post a lot more i might post some in-depth pictures of some of these choices i got where you see what i'm holding in my hand right here right this is young guns this is one of the steel books that i picked up but obviously I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, this is not on my top 10 list, but why am I holding it in my hand? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over my top 10 of my favorite steel books that I got in 2023. This was pretty close, so I went ahead. I'm going to do a couple of honorable mentions. This I'm giving the award to because, number one, I thought the transfer looked good. I like the concept that, that uh, Lionsgate was using with these slip covers that give you different cover art that turns his photo into a wanted poster. The back they did some of these things with bullet holes i wish they had done a little bit more with the bullet hole concept something different something that may you can barely even see the ones on the front so it's a really nice concept i like it but i wish they had done something a little more with it i don't know maybe I actually put a damn hole in it they could have had some die cut stuff but either way that's an honorable mention and i'm going to go ahead and throw in one more honorable mention and i'll tell you why it's the same thing is from uh, lionsgate this is The Wicker Man. I really like this movie. You know, I love Midsommar, and it's, this is basically a predecessor to that. The reason that I didn't give this one as far as in the top 10 is I really like the special edition box set of The Wicker Man that I picked up. I only got this because these are Best Buy exclusives, and since Best Buy is going to stop selling physical media, I bought as many of their exclusives as I could during the year. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I hate Best Buy stopping selling media too, but The Wicker Man, this is a really nice steel book. It's got that cover, and I'll go ahead and show you. I really like the artwork here. So it's them dancing around like the Maypole stuff. But So it looks nice, but I like the other version better. So this one didn't get on my top 10. So that's just a couple of honorable mentions. So I'm going to give you those honorable mentions. So let's actually dig into the top 10. So here's number 10. And this one, I know a lot of people is going to, it's going to piss a lot of people off. Um, this one is a movie that I featured in a, um, I forgot, it was a video I did about steel books and why I bought them and stuff. But look, I just got to put it in here. I put Jeepers Creepers Reborn. The movie is hot garbage. The steel book, though, isn't. That is some fucking epic artwork on that thing. I can't do it justice there. I wish the creeper looked like, and the truck and everything looked like him in that. In that. Um, he looks more like this. I'm not a huge fan of the back cover. But he does look better than in the movie. The inside, they didn't do too much with it. It's got the, the main characters there, but it's mainly just for this artwork here on the front and the back. I just think it's pretty cool. It's worth buying just for the artwork. If you're a fan of Steelbook artwork, you can't do much better than that. Um, like I said, the movie is hot garbage, so I'm putting this in a Steelbook protector where it'll probably stay and never get watched again unless I'm drunk and need something to laugh about. So that was number 10. So what's number 9? <laughs> Number nine is Pumpkinhead. This is a Shout Factory, Screen Factory, uh, Best Buy exclusive. The artwork on this is so damn good. Um, I love the outside. I love the ones that continue from one side to the other. That looks 
so cool. I love it. Um, and then they got some decent artwork on the inside. So it's a Best Buy exclusive, like I said. Um, I really am glad that it looks like Walmart is going to pick up the mantle and do a lot with these um, Shout slash Screen Factory 4K steel books. It looks like they've already announced some. I'm not liking the artwork on at least the first one I saw, Creep Show. But hey, I've already got that in 4K anyway. I doubt I'll double dip on Creep Show. But hey, support them by you know picking them up in Walmart, and that way we can keep it alive. So that's number nine. <laughs> So that was number what 10 9 this is number eight and it's actually speaking of walmart it's a walmart exclusive we've got maximum overdrive stephen king's maximum overdrive another movie it's not as crappy as as jeepers creepers reborn it does have a nice thick j card as they call it on there um you should have watched my live stream recently a lot of people didn't show up but i gave away the digital code that was in this so one of here's one of this is one of the main reasons that i picked this the epic continuous artwork from front to back of the truck with the Green Goblin base on it. I love it. That's one of the most iconic scenes in the movie. And then they use some other artwork on the inside. I remember that one being on like one of the Anchor Bay DVD cases. But dude, this artwork alone, may get, it has to get on your top 10 list. Like I said, some of this isn't for the movie. It's for the quality of the steel book and how it looks. Because isn't that... A lot of the reasons that you buy steel books and a lot of people double dip so i've got some ideas of some videos where we can do some, it'll start some chatter on the channel going into 2024 and i uh, just gave you a hint of one of them so look out for that i'm going to spread those out a little bit and maybe do psa type videos on it so that was number what 10 9 this number eight is maximum overdrive <laughs> So what's number seven? If you watched my uh, catalog title, favorite catalog titles, 2023, I did a twofer. So I'm doing another twofer. You get Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. And I don't know, give a shit what you think about the movie. I don't think it's as bad as people say it is. It's actually, it's, it's cheese. It's B-movie cheese. It doesn't matter what you think. You don't get, you can't compare that to something that's been released theatrically. I know this came out like in a Fathom event or whatever, but the artwork on this Walmart is uh, steel book is pretty cool. This is from Shout. Um, I like the back cover. So there's that. The inside. That side is black, but it's got one of the cool kills of the movie in there with him in the car. And the reason I say you get a twofer, this had a card, really flimsy one on the back. So I put this in a steelbook case. Yeah, I put Winnie the Pooh and Jeepers Creepers Reborn in steelbook cases. Sue me. I want to keep... These are ones that I consider have great artwork. No bother. Double bother. But the reason I call it two for is I actually like the 4K steelbook. I think it's German that I got before that. And here's that one. Now, the cool thing about this is the glow-in-the-dark cover. So, you can take... This is more of, more than a J card. What is that? A C card? I don't know what you call that. Supposedly, this and this glows in the dark. And I don't know if we're going to be able to see that. But the artwork on this thing is so fucking cool. So... Whether you like the movie or not, I think you can say that that artwork there is pretty damn epic. So, yeah, I really like it. I don't know if you can really see that in the dark. No oh, bother. But yeah, you get a twofer of Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. And to be honest, that's not the only copy of two copies of Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey I've got. I got another one. Um, yeah, well, actually, I got two more. Damn, what is wrong with me? Le who, the her. Six! So number six is we go back to the Best Buy exclusive well, and we pull out Point Break. Um, I really like this one. This is like they were doing with that blob one. It's kind of almost like got a foil feel to it. There you go. 
Uh, I really like it. It's got a J card to it. It's one of those wraparound covers where the artwork continues, so I like that. Not much on the inside, but like I said, I put those stickers in there so I know which ones are Best Buy exclusives. But um, that one I did not find in stores, and I don't know that anybody did. That was one that most people had to order from BestBuy.com. So when I first found out that it wasn't going to be in stores, I had to go over and order it. So mine came late. So the week it came out, I did not get to include that in, in my uh, weekly hunt video. So, uh, but it came later. So I think I did include it the next week. So yeah, it did come out in 2023 and it's a really good catalog title as well. So I could have included that in my list of catalog titles, but I knew that I thought that the steel book was well and I can't get the damn case back in there. That's why I hate J cards. <laughs> So what's number five? Number five is another one of those Lionsgate titles of The Mist. And the reason I like this is, man, it's kind of like a window that you can see the characters through the mist, the word mist. And then look, and then you actually see the storefront. And so it's another one of those with continuous wraparounds. And then the other cool thing about it is the disc you get a black and white version of the movie that's on a black and white disc and then i'll show you some of the artwork on the inside and then you get the other disc where the meat it looks like meat that's on, that's on sale so the, the the black and white 4k and the black and white uh, blu-rays have black and white discs so i really like i i don't remember if i've got this in 4k this could be a giveaway with the digital code, but obviously I do like these slip covers. So what do you think about the mist and these slip covers there? Four. So here we go with number four. Number four, another Best Buy exclusive. Got a lot of those, and I guess next year we won't be doing Best Buy exclusives. We'll be doing um, Walmart exclusives maybe. Amazon exclusives. It's of the movie Prey. And so I didn't get this when it first came out because my Best Buy didn't get it and it was sold out online and then randomly it came out. Like I said, I've been buying all the exclusive ones that I can. I really like that artwork there. I like how the Predator is in the middle there of her. And I like the back cover. And then I even like the inside. So yeah, Prey, and it came with a J card, but it's one of it's one of those weird Disney ones. It's really like a J because it wraps around the bottom, which I kind of like those better. They in uh, the, it goes into the uh, steel book uh, holders a lot smoother and easier uh, than the ones where they you know where they hook the other way. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm holding one to the end because it didn't turn out to be, it wasn't my favorite steel book of the year, um, but it was in my top five, and I let you guys help vote on it. Um, the next two are going to be probably a toss-up of which one's my favorite. I unboxed this duel from Steven Spielberg on the channel, and it was because um, I loved all the contents, but the steel book itself to me is pretty epic. I love it. I love that artwork. I love the design. It's got two different versions of the man and the truck there. The dual, just like the, the title says. And I like the fact it's only a 4K disc, so that's re, it's, it's region-free, so you can get this set. But I like all the different you know uses of the, a lot of the scenes and the artwork there, the classic scenes from the movie. I'm a big fan of dual. Um, somebody told me, somebody called me out on my video and said something about i was getting i got too excited about it old man or something like that fucking yeah i do this is a great movie if you haven't seen duel you don't know what you're missing it's basically jaws on the open road speaking of jaws i was able to get this set i missed out on jaw the fur on the original jaws of a foreign release um i forget what this one is called this was this is jaws 2 it's got a lenticular cover, which I'm not a huge fan of because that artwork was used on the DVDs and that's never been an official Jaws 2 artwork. Uh, this was limited to 2,000 pieces. 
Um, it's Ultra HD and Blu-ray, so the Ultra HD that's in it is obviously um, region free. Now the the Steel Book is the exact same one that you can get at Best Buy. So that I like the where you can look to see the inside uh, from the looking at the skier. The problem I got with that is the skier didn't wear that. And how in the hell would you see from the shark's mouth? But I like the fin on the back. And I like that they got Brody on the inside. And then the discs include the classic poster artwork from the front side of the shark. You know, seeing you're seeing the shark behind her. But one of the reasons I like this set is, um, and if you guys wanted me to unbox it, I could. It comes with the official poster of the movie. It includes a booklet. And includes lobby cards. And then it obviously includes that uh, cover with the lenticular artwork. And it's limited to 2000 So uh, I didn't get this when it first came out. And then it was an outrageous fortune. But I had somebody that I met on eBay through another purchase. And they ended up cutting me a really good deal on this. Uh, they knew I was a Jaws fan. So they hooked me up. So I didn't pay exactly what the market rate is for this. So I was glad to add it to the collection. So that's a great steel book. Jaws 2, like I said, you can get that steel book at Best Buy. So here's the top one, and I'm like I said, I'm cheating because it's technically not my favorite. My it would be at least in my top five, but I think it would probably be like number three for me. And I'm gonna spoil, you know, this is included in my poll, so you'll hear about some of these titles that I'm in these videos that I'm doing leading up to the Jeffy Awards. You'll hear about them again. So I'm rambling, so let's go ahead and talk about Sleepy Hollow. Um, this is a limited edition steel book, it says. I don't think it was a Best Buy exclusive. I think you can get it anywhere. It's made like a book. I really like the front and the back artwork. I, re I love the design of this, how they included the book in there. They even used Tiki Tac tape to put the digital code in there. So there's the inside. And then you get an actual book. So this is a really nice release. And then there's your 4K disc. So I like how how it, it you know it fits on the shelf about the same as a regular steel book but it's actually got a book so ironically enough that is a steel book that is actual book instead of just a steel book that's made like a book so um i haven't put this in a case yet i need to they've got all kinds of ticky tack shit around it um but there as you go there that's the one of the top 10 steel books of the year so that isn't a limited release so we got a lot of best buy ones some limited ones or whatever but this one anybody can pick up anywhere so what did you think of my steel book list i really do appreciate you guys like i said somebody some people owe me some videos i'm gonna get the jeffy awards done this week and whether they sent them or not i'll just do some of the awards myself i was gonna do some anyway so it'll be a lot of my top and when i say top but it's gonna be my favorite so it might not be everybody's best um that wouldn't match up with this but remember it's jeffman 316 that's my favorite options and some of the ones that you helped me pick so go out and look at the community tab and you'll see some of the categories you're going to have in the jeffy awards so hopefully you like this video like comment subscribe share do all the normal youtube stuff i love you guys if you are a subscriber hit the notification bell you'll know when i post new videos like the jeffy awards video so until next time boys and girls this has been jeffman 316 i'm your pop culture reporter i'm signing out saying you guys be safe out there Mr. Mayor, Chief, ladies and gentlemen.